let us continue with the questions and discussion on the chapter of chemical bonding. So in the previous video, I have already covered the objective questions which come in your section A part of the question paper. Okay, today I will be discussing with you the questions which come in the section B, the broad questions. Before beginning with the question answer, please do hit the like button, share the video with your friends and please do subscribe my channel. Let's begin. Okay, the first question is a give reason based question where you will be given a statement and you need to justify why the statement is correct. The first give reason given to you is that covalent compounds exist as gas or soft solids. So basically covalent compounds, why covalent compounds are gaseous in nature or soft solid? The two reason for it is covalent compounds are consist of molecules right now as they consist of molecules they will have weak van der Waal force of attraction which will hold the molecules together as they have a weak van der Waal force of attraction so they exist as gaseous or liquid or soft solids okay so in your answer this two point needs to be present next one okay hydrogen chloride is termed as polar covalent compound why polar covalent first of all you need to know the electronic configuration of hydrogen that is one and chlorine has seven electron they will share the electron between themselves okay to form a single covalent bond okay therefore they are covalent bond okay now the term why polar it is because in comparison to hydrogen the electronegativity of chlorine is slightly higher therefore the chlorine atom will try to pull the electron towards itself which will result in a delta positive charge over hydrogen and a delta negative charge over chlorine due to this unsymmetrical distribution of electron hydrogen chloride are polar in nature so what are the two points you need to mention unequal distribution of electron resulting in separation of charges okay now please do mention chlorine is highly uh, higher electronegative than hydrogen okay the third give reason it is ionic compounds have a high melting point it is very simple ionic compounds are consist of ions okay now in solid state the ions are closely packed as they have closely packed they have a strong force of attraction between two opposite ions okay so large energy is required to break the bond required to break the bond okay therefore they have a high melting point clear the last reason which came in your boards was inert gases do not form ions why do inert gases do not form ions? inert gases are nothing but the noble gases and noble gases have a completely stable electronic configuration why stable electronic configuration stable electronic configuration because the outermost shell are completely filled that is they obey the octet having eight electrons in the outermost shell or duplet having two electrons in the outermost shell okay therefore they do not ionize easily 
let's move to the next question okay here you are given four elements w x y z whose electronic configuration are provided to you now the first question which is asked to you is what type of bond is formed between w and x so looking at the electronic configuration first you identify whether they are metals or non metals w and x see W has the electronic configuration of 281 and X has the electronic configuration of 287. So W will easily lose one electron which can be easily transferred to X as it can it has the ability to gain what electron to fulfill its oct uh, outermost shell of 8 electrons. As this two will involve transfer of electrons between themselves. So the bond which is which will be formed is ionic bond ionic or you can write co-electrovalent anything you want okay now between y and z okay now between y and z we, we, we can say that 2,5 is the electronic conversion of y and z is 1 it is quite similar to the formation of ammonia see nitrogen has this electronic configuration and hydrogen has this so you know that the bond which forms between them is of covalent nature please do mention whether it is a polar or non-polar ammonia is a polar compound so you, the bond will be polar because your y is slightly more negative than z okay so there will be a charge separation now you are asked to write the formula of the compounds formed between x and z so what is the valency of x so, uh, valency of x is minus one because it will accept one electron and valency of z is one so if you cross multiply you will form the compound zx okay between W and X so W and X okay W will have valency 1 because it will donate one electron so plus one charge X will accept that one electron donated by W transfer electron is taking place so it has a minus one so the formula is W X okay simple question take care now last question okay Every year you will get question on this the draw electron dot diagram. I have added a extra question to it. Also state the type of bonding present between the molecules. Whenever you are able to draw the structure of the molecule, you can easily predict with what kind of bond does the molecule have. Okay. So nitrogen molecule, two similar atoms. Valence unit rate electronic configuration is 2,5. So it has five electrons in its valency valence shell. So there will be sharing of three electron pen between them. First pair, second pair, the third pair. Okay, so kind of bonding it is a covalent because sharing of electrons are taking place. Sodium chloride configuration of sodium is 2,8,1 for sodium. So chlorine it is 2,8,7. So sodium has one electron and chlorine has seven. Sodium will transfer it electron. from Na plus Cl minus okay now, as it is involving a transfer of electron the type of bonding is ionic now formation of ammonium ion or hydronium ion. I will be just discuss. Okay, I'll discuss both only. Chalo, take away by Ammonia, 
has one lone pair and hydronium ion hydrogen ion will accept that one lone pair so nitrogen is donating its complete lone pair to hydrogen to form ammonium plus okay so the bond which is formed is coordinate bond for hydrogen also the bond is coordinate only hydronium ion sorry that is h3o plus you need to begin from the formation of water oxygen has two lone pairs and that will be accepted one of the lone pairs will be accepted by hydrogen ion so oxygen has donated one lone pair to form a coordinate bond so oxygen is a donor and hydrogen is a acceptor okay you are also asked one more question that is define lone pair so you need to learn the definition of lone pair so now i have completed the chemical bonding chapter okay i have discussed the theory portion and also i have discussed the question answer so you can easily study accordingly please do practice the electron dot diagram because questions definitely come from this portion thank you